Hey guys, so this video is a little bit late. I have been home for summer for nearly two months now and I'm talking about something that happened back in June. But anyway, um, I am actually going to talk about the Harry Potter Studios tour, which I went on with a load of my uni mates and it was really, really good fun. It was quite an exciting day because it involved a lot of travelling and a lot of independence and I'm not going to lie, I just completely followed um, Maddie, who uh, is my flatmate and she's the one who organised everything. What a babe. She was amazing and she booked all our trains, all our coaches and everything. I think we, we started off with a coach at about 7am and then we split into two groups because there was 10 of us all together and half of us went in a car like all the way and then the other half we which was me got on a coach and then a train and then another train and then a bus it was good fun because um like we all had each other to talk to and stuff and i've got such random stuff saved like because i have a scrapbook of uni which i'm in the process of making so far i've only done like freshers and my sports and stuff but I've got, this was like the last trip we all spent together. So I've got like my train ticket and my bus ticket and even like a little bit of the bag that I cut off. <laughs> I don't know why. For the day, we all decided to, we thought it'd be a good idea to dress in like school uniform. So we all dressed in like white shirts and black skirts or trousers, whatever you want. I don't know if you guys have heard of Pottermore. It's like an online virtual thing that JK Rowling made. About Harry Potter. I'm not all that into it myself but on there you can find out what house you're in and go into like the sorting hat so we all did that and I was a Slytherin so we all bought the ties which were uh, to our house and then wore it as our uniform around the tour. It was a really cute um, idea. I can't remember who came up with it but I think it was Jack but yeah it was cool. And then at the gift shop I also bought a Slytherin flag as well just as a little something. I mean, some people there were going like really really overboard with the stuff they were buying, like buying wands and stuff that cost like 30 quid. I'm just thinking, I think I'd rather spend that on next week's food shopping, but you know, to each their own I guess. It was a really fun day and the things like the castle and just Diagon Alley and the way they lit it all as well and also like the stuff that isn't really looked at a lot like the architectural side of it and all the modeling of all the creations of the creatures and stuff I just found that fascinating because you know it's not something they'll show on the screen so yeah it was really 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 interesting and I recommend anyone to go if you fancy a lot of traveling anyway to London but if you're near London then I guess that's not a problem I think there's more than one any Anyway, I will speak to you all soon, and my next video is probably going to be a reflection on my first year of uni, because I've wanted to do it, uh, I got some inspiration last night and I was just like, yes! And yeah, maybe some more parodies will be on their way too, so yeah, I will speak to you all soon, and I hope you're all having a great summer, in a bit, ciao for now!